Welcome to Top 5, where we count down all kinds of things. I'm your host, Ayaz Akhtar. For some tech companies, getting you interested in their products is really easy. Apple and Google enjoy lots of attention. But there are other companies who desperately want you to notice them. Sometimes, they even turn to endorsements by famous people. Today, we're counting down the top five strangest celebrity tech parents. At number five, Ashton Kutcher and Lenovo. Back in October of 2013, Lenovo tapped Ashton Kutcher as a product engineer. Yeah, really. The first product he helped produce was the Yoga Tablet 2 Pro, a 13-inch Android tablet. Kutcher said that he thought the Yoga Tablet 2 Pro was the best tablet in the world. We reviewed it here at CNET, and it was actually pretty good, with a unique design that included a projector built in. At number four is Lady Gaga and Polaroid. In 2010, Polaroid named a new creative director, and her name was Lady Gaga. At least that's her stage name. At CES 2011, Polaroid and Lady Gaga introduced a number of new products under the Grey Label brand, including a pair of glasses with a camera built in and a mobile printer. The glasses never made it past the CES demo, but that mobile printer did make it to market. As you know, the partnership was super successful and we all carry Polaroid products every day. Okay, so that didn't happen. Reports surfaced in October 2014 that Lady Gaga and Polaroid were no longer working together. At number three, Robert Downey Jr. and HTC. $12 million. That's reportedly the amount of money HTC paid Robert Downey Jr. to be the face of HTC in 2013. Downey was and is still red hot in Hollywood thanks to his fantastic performance as Tony Stark and Iron Man in a number of movies. The thing is, Robert Downey Jr. isn't Iron Man and HTC's ads were definitely interesting to use a word, but HTC is still having a hard time competing with Samsung and Apple even with the celebrity endorsement. Other companies like Samsung and TCL both paid to have their products placed in Marvel movies. Samsung even showed off an Avengers watch and Tony Stark's gadgets at CES 2015. Maybe product placement would have been a better bet for HTC. At number two, Alicia Keys and BlackBerry. Yeah, so this happened. Alicia Keys was named the Global Creative Director for BlackBerry in January 2013. At the announcement, Keys talked about a scholarship program to help women in technology. This odd combo seemed to start seriously. Keys told people she was a BlackBerry exclusive. Then, in February, a tweet appeared on Key's Twitter account that read, started from the bottom, now we're here. No big deal, right? Yeah, except the tweet said it was posted via Twitter for iPhone. Keys claimed her account was hacked. Anyway, the stint lasted about a year, and now we're here. What time is it? I, I don't have my watch, but I think it's Twitter time. I asked you guys, what do you think are the strangest tech celebrity endorsements? Alex reminded us that at one point, there were television ads with Jerry Seinfeld and Bill Gates. Isaac chose a recent but amazing one, Gary Busey for Amazon Fire TV. Thanks for your feedback, and on to number one. And the number one weird pairing, Oprah and Microsoft. Poor Microsoft. The company took a big risk introducing its own computer with the Surface tablet. It chose to partner with the incredibly influential Oprah Winfrey, and Oprah named the Surface one of her favorite things. She said, the Surface, Microsoft's first tablet, feels like a Mercedes-Benz to me, people. Yeah, then a wonderful tweet. Gotta say, love that Surface. Have bought 12 already for Christmas gifts. What's the problem? It was sent via Twitter for iPad. That does it for us. Remember, if you'd like to get an idea of upcoming top fives, or even have your tweets read on air, Follow me on Twitter, I'm at Ayaz. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.